Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on R. Kelly. You know, R. Kelly is suing the government and the government is trying to get the lawsuit thrown out of court. R. Kelly is suing because while he was going through his trial, you know, for the sex trafficking, the R allegations, the SA allegations, you know, many bloggers was covering his case. One of the top bloggers that was covering his case was Tasha K. And Tasha K seemed to have intel from the inside about phone calls, emails, and things that R. Kelly was doing. And she displayed that information or talked about that information on her channel. R. Kelly got pissed and he said to the government, listen, someone in here leaked my information to bloggers and leaked my information to Tasha K. And he said, said information influenced his case in a negative way and he probably wouldn't have gotten in as many years as he received if it was not for people leaking his information. And so Tasha K was asked, did she buy information? Did she get anything from the inside? And she said, no, no way. I did not. Well, the government currently confirmed that, you know, yes, she did. And yes, others might have gotten it, other bloggers, but they're like, so what? We don't care. What do you want us to do? The government said they cannot control every uh, employee across any given jail or prison or whatever the case may be. And they say, yeah, it happened, but so what? They said they are not held to those same standards because they can't control millions of pro employees. Ain't the government gangster? It's like, okay, do, I mean, listen, to me, when you do a crime and you put in prison, jail, or whatever the case may be, that is your punishment. I don't think we have the right to just treat you dirty for the rest of your life because of what you did. You're serving your time. That should be your punishment. But now they say you ain't even got no rights because they gangster. They say, yes. We know someone did leak it. He's telling the truth. But guess what? We don't give a darn and we don't want you to hold us, told us to any standards because we can't be liable. Anyway, ain't that something? An employer that is not liable for the, what the employees do. That's messy. Well, let's get right into this story. So... R. Kelly's private information was leaked by prison employee government admits in a bombshell lawsuit. So they ain't denying it. They say, yeah, it happened. The U.S. government fired back at R. Kelly's lawsuit over prison workers allegedly assessing his private emails and call, call logs. In Touch can exclusively report. According to court documents obtained by In Touch, Lawyers representing the government asked that Kelly's 2023 lawsuit, which he claimed prison employees used to um, use the internal prison system to assess, um, access his emails, visitor, and phone logs be tossed. The government denied a breach its duty of care to Kelly. The response admitted there was an inspector general investigation into the unauthorized access of Kelly's sensitive information. The response said the officer named and his complaint was investigated, but no charges was ever brought. In 2019, the Chicago Sun-Times reported the prison employee in question has recently retired. So because this man retired, we ain't going to prosecute him? Maybe take his pension, part of his pension? I mean, how could you just do a crime and it's okay? The government seemingly admitted that an investigation found a prison worker did provide blogger Tasha K with information that was accessed from the internal system. The lawyer argued for the case to be dismissed. He said, the United States is not subject to institutional liability stemming from allegedly widespread negligent, negligent practices or policies. So they say, listen, I can't help it. My employees are messy, but you ain't going to hold us accountable for that. And Kelly Sue, his lawyer said, the defendant United States of America breached its duty of care to Kelly when it allowed countless BOP officers to access Kelly's confidential information without any legal basis to do so. The defendant, United States of America, knew that one of the employees and the other prison workers routinely accessed Kelly's private information from his systems and divulged private information to third parties for monetary gain, clout, or simple harassment. Because of the United States of America breach, at least 60 prison officers made unauthorized access to Kelly's sensitive, confidential, and private information made time by the BOP on its electronic system known as TrueView, Kelly's lawyer claimed. 
In the suit, Kelly said he believed the officer sold the information to Tasha K, who then posted it on her blog. Tasha K denied the claim she had anything to do with illegal activity on her Instagram. His lawyer said Tasha K rallied her masses of followers to harass Kelly with the use of the stolen information and created chaos in Kelly's personal life, even using the information to influence witnesses in Kelly's e, um, EDNY criminal prosecution. On information and belief, the stolen information was shared with and used by prosecutors from the United States Attorney Office as a tool to influence witnesses against Kelly. Now the United States government has demanded the case be tossed. Kelly was arrested in July 2019 on 13 count indictment filed in Illinois. He was hit with a separate criminal case over several um, similar charges in New York. The singer was sentenced to 20 years in the Chicago case and 30 years in the New York case, which is insane. Robert Kelly used his power and fame for evil when he exploited children um, for his own gratification. Sean Fitzgerald, special agent in charge of HSI Chicago, said following the sentence. We are confident that Kelly's sentence will empower victims who are facing similar circumstances to come forward, knowing that they will be supported. HSI, alongside his partners from the U.S. Attorney's Office, the Chicago Police Department, and IRS Criminal Investigation, will do everything in our power to ensure predators like Kelly face justice. Ooh, ooh, okay. So here's the thing. Um, let me just X out of that so that I won't play in the background. Um, listen. Do I think either way R. Kelly was going to face a ton of years behind bars? Absolutely. Do I think at the same time that these prison records were dead wrong? Absolutely. If we allow people who work for this system to go rogue in R. Kelly's case, it will give them open season to go rogue on anybody that is currently behind bars, whether they're famous or not famous. And I think it's not fair. In this particular case, you know, maybe it helped get justice a court um, against R. Kelly. But in some other cases, maybe it's going to cause somebody to be unalived or something like that. So I, I think it needs to be stopped. For the government to simply say, simply say yeah, it happened. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, we're not responsible. It is what it is. And the main person responsible has retired. So it's almost like, what can we do about it? They retired already. They no longer work for us. But they committed a crime when they were working for you. Do you not have some responsibility to backtrack and say, hey, you know what? We need to look into this and give you some type of sanction, even if that sanction means that we're going to reduce some of your pension payments. I'm not saying this pension should be taken away like the whole thing forever, but something should happen. And then what about these 60 other employees that you admit was in and out of his um stuff and had no business being in and out of it? Are they still working? Are you going to allow them to keep working? Did they get a suspension or talking to a, 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 a written, you know, a verbal notice or something? Just to say that we're not responsible, I think it's messy. Listen, guys. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the government pretty much saying whatever. I mean, I've never seen anything like it, but the government can do whatever they want, and that's why, by all means necessary, you need to try to never find yourself on the wrong side of the law. So some of the basic things you could do, and I know what you're going to say, well, Diva, there's people that have done that and they still found themselves in trouble. But I'm saying for the most part, drive the speed limit. Don't jaywalk. Because we saw the other day a kid got pulled over, arrested for jaywalking, okay? Don't jaywalk. Don't steal from your employer. Don't steal from no store. Don't steal from anybody. Just try your best to never find yourself on the wrong side of the law. Listen, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next video.